Volume 7, Chapter 01 Parent and Child, Part 5 to 6. Part 5. As I watched the exchange between Yamiria san and Kyle, I scratched my head with my right hand. The conversation between parents and children reminds me of my previous life, and I hate it. Both Marie and I died before our parents in our previous lives. I want Yumiria and Kyle to make up for their lack of filial piety on both sides. And, you know. Luxion, I know you've complicated things. All you had to do was put him in the cockpit. It would have made Kyle happy. If we had just gotten Kyle on the Aragans as soon as possible, none of this would have happened. When I said that, Luxion not only refused to admit that he was wrong, but also blamed me. Are you sure about it? What? Kyle is a child. Even in this world, he's still a child, a child that should be protected, and you're sending him to the Aragans? Have you not forgotten, Master? Aragans is a weapon that I have prepared. Hearing that, I realized how careless I am. I turned to face the Aragans and remembered what it had been prepared for. It's not just the Aragans. Armor is a weapon that was prepared for fighting in the first place. It was not something that a child could easily get into. Kyle looks at the Aragans with the admiration of a child. He is not in a position of nobility where he needs to be prepared, nor does he even need to fight. Marie is convinced when she hears why Luxion didn't give Kyle a ride. It's better if he doesn't have to fight. I understand. I'll explain it to Kyle and make him give up. So don't be too hard on yourself, Yumiria san. When we looked at her, Yumiria san was looking down and crying, as if she was in shock. Cordelia san, who was by her side, comforted Yumiria san. It's nothing to worry about, it's just a rebellious phase. He may be mature, but he's still a kid. Cordelia san was showing kindness as she comforted her colleague. I want her to show a little of that kindness to me. However, Yumiria san shook her head. It's my fault because I didn't do anything to be a good parent. When we fell silent, Yumiria san burst into tears. I am clumsy and often deceived. Must have seemed unreliable to Kyle, and I was always a nuisance to him. K Kyle's fine without me, and he's better off without me. Kyle is a problem, but Yumiria is also a problem. She seems to think that she is disqualified as a parent. That's not true. Kyle was so worried about you, Yumiria san. That's why I shouldn't have been around Kyle. I came to this country, but I was a nuisance to him. Yumiria came to the Alzer Commonwealth because she was worried about Kyle, but now she felt depressed that she was not needed. I was a normal kid in a previous life, and I've had my share of normal problems with my parents. Not as much as Kyle, but there is an overlap with myself. I'd like to solve the problem of this parent and child, but it's really just one problem after another. Part 6 Night After finishing her work, Yumiria san hugged the transparent case containing the holy tree sapling and went out to the garden of the mansion in her nightgown. She sat down on the bench and reminisced about the events of today. Ever since Kyle threw her out at the warehouse, she hasn't been able to repair their relationship until now. I'm no good after all she smiled sadly, as if troubled, and tears welled up in her eyes. For Yumiria, Kyle is the only family she has in this world. The others have either avoided or severed ties with her due to her peculiarities. Humans can't understand it, but elves sense magic in color. Yumiria was called by elves a mixed one and they avoided her because of the mixture of magic power they felt. For Yumiria, her only son, Kyle, was an important relationship that she was not alone. It would have been a shock if Kyle had told her that he would not accept her as his mother. As she hugged the case and shrunk back, Yumiria heard a voice. Good evening. Eh? When she looked up, she saw that it was not Luxion, but Ideal, Lelia's constant companion.